Alright guys, what's up? Uh, today's January 24th, it's Iron Man here. Um, I got a rather interesting request in my PM box the other day asking if I knew how to unlock the iPhone 3G using the new software that came out. Uh, recently it is still fairly new. Um, there are videos out there, a bunch actually, on how to do this, but I guess he wanted me to do this and to show you guys. I'm not a big fan of, you know, I'm not really a jailbreak video kind of dude, but because as if you know I do do application reviews but I'm gonna go ahead and do this for you guys um, just so you know how to do it in case you ever want to those of you with uh, 3G's so what you're going to do is um, go into Cydia and let this load once it gives you your tabs and uploads everything you're gonna wanna wait a few seconds and uh, let it update its database so it doesn't act slow or anything. You want this application moving fast uh, so to help your downloads and uh, whatnot. There we go. Loading the tabs. Updating now. And uh, once you've done loaded, you'll want to go to your Manage tab and you're going to tap into your Sources and after that you're going to click on the top right edit and top left add and you're going to type in ATP 9 dot yellow y-e-l-l-o-w snow s-n and the o is actually zero in case you guys didn't know that w dot com backslash once that's done you're going to click on add source I've already done it for the sake of the video, so because it is actually a long download. Um, if you want, you can pause the video here and load it. After that, you're going to click on the top right and click Done. And once that's done, it'll bring you back to your Sources page. You're going to go into the Entered by User tab, and you're going to search for the um, source that you just put in. And for those of you who didn't see it, I'm going to put the source in the description and in the annotations as well so it's everywhere so you guys know what to type in. And you're going to look for the ATP9 dot uh, yellow snow with a zero dot com source and you're going to click and tap into that. This may take a moment. Uh, Cydia is kind of slow for some users including myself. And as well as doing this, you can go to the search bar and manually type in Yellow Snow for the application. I feel that this is kind of a shortcut and an easier way to do it, since after it's done downloading, it brings you to your sources page anyway. So you might as well do it like this. Um, like I said, this may take a moment. City is kind of slow. Hmm. And here we go. And it will be the only application available from this source, which is called Yellow Snow. It is a utility. You're going to click on that. In the top right hand corner, it will say install. Click on that. I already have it downloaded. It'll bring you to a page to confirm. You're going to click on the top right and you will click confirm. This does take a moment to download longer than some, um, for three minutes, um, depending on your, uh, phone and uh, once it is done downloading you will notice that it does not have a application icon on your springboard whatsoever once it is done you click you can click on return to Cydia or click on the home button and I will show you it does not have a um, application icon the moment you have you are done downloading this you are going to want to restart your iPhone you can do that by holding down the home button button, excuse me, and you can slide or you can use the application from Cydia, which is what I like to use, which is called your power tool. So it'll bring you in to let you respring and restart as well as reboot. You're going to want to power down if you are using power tool or power off if you are using the home button. And what that does is it does it instantly, uh, just like you would. Um, 
then you let it sit for a little bit and you're going to want to use once that is done with this whole process, let me say that you do need 2.2 firmware. If you did not know that and you do not have that and you refuse to download it, then you might as well just stop watching this video. Um, for certain reasons, so your phone doesn't get screwed up in any way, shape, or form, you do need 2.2 firmware so that it reads the information and knows what it's doing. Um, let's continue. You are going to, mine is still in my uh, box, you're going to use your SIM card. I call it the unlock tool kind of cool that they gave it to us, but, you know, they need to anyway. Um, again, while your phone is turned off, this is mandatory, needs to be turned off, you are going to use your unlock tool. And, um, it will open your little... You want to need to push down with some pressure and pull it out. And there you go. For the sake of the video, I do have another SIM card. I can sadly not show you one because I do not have access right now to a T-Mobile card. But I'm just going to show you switching it out. You will then replace. Make sure it is fully um, fit in. Most SIM cards are. And once that is done, I will not be using this. I was just showing you, uh, just for the heck of it. Um, make sure this is fully fit. You do not want to screw this part up either. Uh, once that is done, you don't want to. If you're like me, you don't want to scratch up your phone. Be very careful. You're going to put it in the way that it came in. And for those of you who don't know, there is a straight edge in the left-hand corner. And that's the side you'll be making sure that it is aligned with the head jack. You're going to softly push that back in. Run your finger over it a little bit so you, you know that it's precisely in. Wait a few seconds. You know, this is just precautionary. And uh, once it is done, hold the home button. Turn on your iPhone 3G. And you're going to take a moment to let it load. While it's loading, I'm going to put my unlock tool back in, in its box. Get that out of the way, as well as the case. Again, I cannot show you, sadly, if I had a T-Mobile card. I do not at the moment, but I am running you through the process. And, um, again, if you have any questions whatsoever, please PM me. I will respond within 24 hours, guaranteed. <clears throat> or you can go to my website and go under Contact Me and uh, email me. It is my direct email. It's no YouTube email. It's personally mine, so I will definitely get back to you on that as well if something were to happen with the YouTube. Um... Once that is done, if you have a code, enter it. If you don't, it'll bring you to the lock screen. When it comes on, you will wait a few minutes, a few seconds, whatever it takes, about 10 seconds normally, and you will see that it is um, T-Mobile. Well, obviously not now. If you do have a T-Mobile card or if you're using you know, Verizon Sprint or whatever you're using, and it will show up up there, and there you go. Um, I personally do not have the, uh, no need for the unlock feature right now, so once this video is done, I will delete Yellow Snow for the extra space. I don't want anything taking up. I like to be, uh, have my phone as fast as possible. But um, that is how to unlock your iPhone 3G using the fairly new supported Yellow Snow. Um, it was it did have some bugs in, you know, uh, the updates have fixed those completely, so you are totally safe. If anything happens, uh, you know, go to iTunes and restore your phone, so you're always safe on that, as always. Again, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask. Um, if you like my videos and they help you out, please don't forget to subscribe. Um, go check out my channel. I have some cool stuff and links for you guys, and I will catch you guys in my next video. And uh, Peace.